What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Today, we're getting rid of these crusty brake calipers. They're all faded and the last nasty thing on this car, which is these brake calipers. A lot of you guys have requested this video on fixing these, so we're gonna go ahead and do that today. The brake calipers on this car are really, really faded and don't look good, so I went out this morning and got some red paint with some clear coat to hopefully make these things look brand new. The only bad thing about this is the brakes that come on the Evos are Brembo's. You have the Brembo logo, but I'm gonna lose that once we paint over this. So I can always just buy new stickers, but for now it's just gonna be painted over with no Brembo's. And I do need to find some Brembo stickers. So to start this out, we're gonna go ahead, loosen up the wheels, jack this thing up, and then I will take you step by step on how to paint your brake calipers. on the driver's side are off. It's now time to paint these. So this is basically the last really ugly thing on the car. Overall, the body is like very, very nice. Now, this definitely, definitely needs to be fixed. The back side of it is pretty good, but that's just all faded and gross. Should be pretty awesome. Just take these off too. All right, so all the wheels are off of the car. We are ready to go. I'm gonna show you guys what we're using for today's project. Today we have some Acetone, that's to clean off the brake calipers. We have primer, we've got red paint, I just got red engine enamel, and then we have some clear coat, and this is just wheel paint, clear coat stuff. Should make it look really nice and shiny. So, some scotch brights. Oh, hey, what's up, nice, dudes? Nice stash. Oh, stash for subs is yeah. back. All right, so first step is to use Simple Green. We're gonna spray down all the calipers and use a combination of the scotch bright and this just, just this brush to clean everything up, because the most important thing about painting anything is prepping everything really really well so do a good job prepping the final outcome will be so much better we're gonna be using some of these black bags here so this is a little technique I've learned over the years if you guys follow our channel you'll see this probably seen this video already but we're gonna do this so that we can save a lot of time when masking off the brake calipers Go ahead and remove these Brembo stickers before we start painting, just so when we paint, there's not some sticker that's raised above everything else. So I think also Mickey can make us new Brembo stickers, which will be even better, because Mickey can make me any color and any style that I want. So, it's kind of in. All right, we went ahead, used some sandpaper and the, uh, the simple green. We've got all the Brembo stickers off. This thing is pretty much sanded and ready to go. Now, I realize that the correct way to do this would be to take the calipers off of the car and you know paint them while they're not on the car, but this is the simplest and easiest way to get this done. We've done this a couple times, and this is the best, you know, this produces the best quality for yeah. the least amount of time. Yeah, I mean, this is for people who are just in their garages and wanna do something like this. It's really easy. You don't have to go through all the steps of taking off the caliper, and you know, this is a home DIY garage way to do this and to save some time this is the best way to do that and it comes out really awesome so you guys will see it in the end but I'm gonna go ahead and work on the driver's side and then we'll be ready to go so now that all four of the brake calipers have been sanded down they are ready to go we have to clean them off make sure they're very very clean and spotless once we do that we're gonna put some acetone and we're ready to mask off after all of that Next step, we're using the trash bags. So, we wanna just open this up as wide as it goes. It's just gonna be our masking material. We're gonna cut a uh, pretty small hole like that. And you wanna stretch it around. You wanna put that hole in the middle and you wanna stretch it around the brake caliper. 
so. Boom, you just masked off a caliper in like one second. So we'll take this up, like in here. Make sure we don't overspray all over the place. And then we'll go ahead and we'll mask off all the other pieces, like uh, the center of the caliper and this uh, brake line fitting. Masking to the floor, so it's pretty easy. So let's go ahead and do that for all four wheels. And then we'll do one final wipe down with acetone. The doctor's in, baby! All right, everything is masked off. We just cleaned off the brakes with the, what's it called again? Acetone. We just cleaned off the brakes with the acetone. It is now time to lay primer. How many uh, coats of primer? We'll probably do like two or three coats. And just remember guys, the first coat needs to be super light. So I'm gonna show you how light it needs to be. That's it. So the first coat, super light, just let it tack, and then you come back and start adding more and more. So if you do the first coat too heavy, you're gonna have a lot of problems. So let's move on to this one. All right, coat number one of primer is done. This is what your coat should look like. Perfect, so I don't wanna keep boring you guys with painting clips, so I'll just update you when we get to the next big step. Think primer's good? The primer should be good. That's a, that's a nice coat, Becky man. Now it's time to start with the red. <laughs> don't zoom in on me. The right color. Same thing with the primer, guys. If you want to do it well, you gotta make sure the first coat is super light. So that's as far as we're gonna go. As long as everything is covered, we're good. All right, last step, clear coat. Probably do about two coats. This red is like really, really red. That's oh, it's as red as you can get, dude. I think it's gonna come out really, really good. Two hours later. Terrifying. Careful. Careful. Oh, my fingers. Hold on. Okay. We're going in, we're going in. Yes. Nice work. Right. Where the lugs? Here they are. Just gotta be careful on all fours not to ding them because these are still a little bit wet, but we gotta move this car out of the warehouse so TJ can start doing his thing. But uh, I'll update you guys when we get all four wheels on and we're back home. The car is now complete. The wheels are super dirty, but brakes look freaking awesome. Much better than the old faded red that we used to have. And I'm very, very happy with these, especially when we get the new Brembo stickers on there in white, that'll look really awesome. Overall, looks much, much better, and it's a very, very easy process to do. And I know a lot of you guys would like to do this as well, so hope this video will help you out in doing that because it is really easy. You just need the correct material and the correct tools and you'll be good. we head out, we're gonna check out the new throttle project car we got going. Hey, look who's back. It's the bro van. Missed that car. New throttle project car you got going here. Look at that front mount. Dang. Wow, so you guys are giving this thing away, right? If you guys join Throttle VIP, you have the chance to win this project car, VR4. What Completely are, redone though. Yeah. So, new paint job, we just put a front mount intercooler kit, intake, exhaust, coilovers, like this thing is gonna be legit. Ends at the end of May. If you guys wanna sign up, the link will be in the description, I'll make yes. Dustin put it in there. Very, very sick. They're getting the entire thing redone, it's gonna be very awesome, and if you're a fan of Evos, you will love this car as well. All right. 
now that we're done with all of this, I still want to do some product shoots of the new line. So we do have jet tags and we have our wristband stuff. So in the last video, you guys saw me and Sean shooting these shirts. Well, um, that was just like a little shirt shoot for me and Sean. But now I actually want to do like the accessories and stuff. So I'm about to head over to Tiana's house and she's going to help me out. We're going to go shoot the Evo and the accessories and going to take you guys along for that. Because I think it's cool to show the process of me building my, my business and stuff. I don't know. I hope you guys like to see it because I, I think it's a lot of fun to film. So let's head over there. Can you say hello to the vlog? All right, we made it to our shooting spot. This is uh, this is where we take the majority of all of the, the Legends photos that you guys see on my Instagram and on the website and stuff. Today, we're going to do a little bit of, of shirts <laughs> and all the accessory stuff. I'll show you the accessories that we have right now. Okay, so in, we're doing these new phone cases. So we have this one, this one, we have lanyards. We also have a black lanyard, which I don't have right now. Then we have these wristbands, and we'll probably do a little bit of shooting of the shirts again, just because it's in the daylight now. Tiana is gonna be our photographer for the day. She's uh... You're always putting me to work. I think that's it. Um, we're gonna do video and pictures, so you guys will see a little bit of everything. So enjoy it. <laughs> 